fashion friends, did you miss me? What's going on, fashion friends? With this segment of the Moj Couture TV, it's nothing but fashion. With this episode, we're showcasing you stylists and original boutiques. I want you guys to stay tuned and see where we go with this. This is going to be an episode you will want to watch. See ya. <laughs> This is an Emore J Couture exclusive. If it's hot, I'll say it's hot. But if it's a mess, baby, woo! Girl, have you lost your sick mind? You're just fucking eyes in behind. Australia. Australia. I have a fashion friend that's from Australia. I do have a fashion friend following in Australia. I want to say hello to all you guys as well. Tell us about these bathing suits that are so hot. So these bathing suits are amazing. Um, Lisa Marie was actually a model, a runway Lisa model. Marie. Lisa Marie. And she's now a swimsuit designer. Oh, and okay. a lot of her swimsuits are crocheted. They're, they're amazing. They're beautiful. And um, Cheka Chic actually has them for a lot less compared to like Netta Porter, um, Anthropology, and Free People. My prices are so much better than on the line. Um, and right now they're actually 25% off. 25% off. I am loving these dresses. Talking to the owner, I'm coming to realize that what she does with her boutique is that she goes in some of the most trendiest, flyest magazines, such as your In Style, your L, your Teen Vogue, and she gets the looks that they're talking about, and she brings them to her boutique, and she offers them for super low pricing, affordable prices. So I think that's an excellent type of thing when you're looking for a boutique. You want to feel special. You want to feel like you're getting what you're seeing in the magazine. So why not come here to check a chic boutique and get the look that you're looking for? So basically I carry a lot of casual, cute, um, all the way up to um, evening cocktail evening dresses. So you can find all the looks in my store. You can come in and get some jeans with a cute little t-shirt or tank top, all the way to Wait, a cute dress. Those are pockets. Those so are pockets. Don't you love the dress yes. with the pockets? Oh it. my it gosh. Is. This is fabulous. So you can just come in and just find all these great things um, for any occasion. Even, you know, Santa Monica, the white side is very um, casual and earthy. Mm -hmm. so people love things that are flowy, comfortable, easy to put on. Don't worry about ironing. What's the name of your Facebook fan page? It's Cheka Chic Boutique. Cheka Chic Boutique. And they can order online. Order the fan online. page, they can just call me. Yes. Wait. Hi everybody, welcome to Cheka Chic Boutique. I'm Patty, the owner of Cheka Chic Boutique, and I'm here in Santa Monica. And I just want to welcome all of MRJ Couture's fans to come on in and just mention his name and I'll give you 10% off. Or you can go to my fan page and just click like and you'll get updated of all the new fashions and trends and all the great styles and all the great deals that I have in store for you. So check out my store on the fan page. Or just shoot me an email at pattycheckaboutique at yahoo.com and I'll add you to my mailing list. Hey, oh. What's going on, fashion friends? I'm sitting here next to Joe Exclusive. If you don't know who Joe Exclusive is, can we say image consultant, celebrity stylist? Is those the right words that we could put for you? Oh, definitely. Okay, <laughs> excellent. 
Now, Mr. Joe Exclusive, first I want to thank you so much for coming onto the show and just giving me some of your time. I know you're a very busy person and you keep things moving. I want to talk to you about your experience with the Lisa Ray show. How is that for you being a stylist and your association with the Lisa Ray, the Real McCoy show? Um, actually, being on the Lisa Ray show is wonderful. I love it because the reason I like it so much is because, she, first of all, she's a friend. She's not okay. just a client. So mm -hmm. we have that personal bond. And actually, we were friends way before we even started working together. And then um, after working together, then we got the show. So it's, it's pretty cool. Excellent. Another question for you. How long have you been in the fashion industry, in the fashion entertainment industry? Um, I've been styling a while. Actually, I got my start with Eve. Yeah, I've, I've read with the yeah. Rough Riders. Yeah, when 1997? She, it's pretty much about, mm. about that time, 97, 98. Um, oh, good. So, when she first got started, when she had her first deal with uh, Dr. Dre and um, Aftermath, mm -hmm. we met there. And then I was with her when she got her deal at Rough Riders. So, we've been working together. And, um, you know, I've been knowing her for like 10 years now, 11 years. And we've worked together through the whole time. Now, during that stage of 1997 and moving forward, did you find any adversities at all when it come, when it came to being in, in this industry, the fashion industry? What hardships did you go through? Um, you know what? Being in the fashion business, um, you, you kind of grow as you go. That's Especially true. if you have okay. no, like even with me, I, I didn't get in like assisting anybody or doing any of that. So how I started was with her and it was just about building relationships and mm -hmm. kind of like who you know um, as to who, what designers would give you clothes tomorrow. So so that's, you know, it's just been, you know, the struggle is just like getting to know designers and getting to know people. And, and for me, you know, I'm pretty outgoing, so it hasn't been that hard, but there are a lot of challenges with styling because um, say with a hairstylist, hairstylist and makeup artist just show up for shoots. Us as wardrobe stylists, we have to go out like two, three days in advance to pull clothes and then it's the day of the shoot and fittings and then mm -hmm. after the shoot is over, everybody's gone home. Stylists, we still have to go return all the clothes that we Okay, pull. it keeps moving. Yeah, so that's, a, you know, that's some of So what advice could you say to young people, the next generation coming behind you, that want to pursue the same field and work that you do? What advice could you give to them? Um, I always, or what I always say is to stylists or one of these stylists or people that want to get in this business mm -hmm. is the best way to do it is to assist mm -hmm. because you know the stylist usually has connections and the celebrities and and a lot of times they're going to get busy like half the shoots that I've probably styled in the last eight months or so have been really my assistants like I've you know picked out stuff or sent them to this designer or this or that. But I would really let them go actually go physically do the shoot and do all of that for the most part because I'm so busy building my empire. So, you know, to get in as an assistant and you'll eventually be working with that client because the stylist is busy doing other stuff for a different client. So that's what I always say. Mm -hmm. I know that you're super busy these days, especially with TV and, you know, styling artists and celebrities. I hear through rumor that you may have your own show coming out on television now. What's the tea on that? <laughs> Clock. Okay, well, look, what's the okay. <laughs> yeah, So with me and my own show, um, I'm on my second season of Lisa Ray's show. Oh, mm -hmm. That's been, you know, going pretty good. And you know, I, I didn't want my own show at first. Like I wasn't really into it. Um, I was like, uh, -uh, uh yeah. I just want to be behind it. But now it, it just makes sense. And, and with branding and where I plan to take my company, mm -hmm. you know. It, it makes sense. I really want to do a show where it just shows the everyday workings of me and who I am. Um, because like I said, clothes is probably like 10% of what I am. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really building an empire. Like my Destination 1610 is like an artist development house and imaging and branding. Um, so I really want to show the makings of me. Like every, like even I've got people like Keisha Cole Breaker deals and this okay. person read and about that. and all that. So, I really want to show the workings of me. Like, every day I'm not out shopping in the store. Like, I'm calling radio stations. Like, I'm going to get my artist on the radio. I'm like... You don't PR. Yeah, so it's a, well, okay. it's a whole branding. And you so know, much. Yeah, so I want to show the workings of what I'm doing and what I've been doing these, you know, these last past years here in Hollywood. It sounds like a lot going on, and we love it. It's always best to stay productive rather than not doing anything at all. Um, what else could we look for when it comes to Joe Exclusive? What could we be out on the lookout for 
Could you put some things out there for us? Um, like right now, I mean, branding is a big part of you know my company and what we do. I represent a line called Sacred Heart Collection. Sacred Heart? Yeah, Sacred Heart Collection. It's a very, very nice women's line. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty much like a Rachel Roy meets Diane von Furstenberg. Okay. So I've placed it on like Keisha Cole and um, Kelly Rowland now has it. Um, so would you say edgy elegant? It's very edgy elegant. Actually, that's mm -hmm. great words for it. So that's one of the collections that I represent. <laughs> um, I have jam sunglasses. Um, I have actually one of your Philly designers that I represent too, Story After. Yeah, Story After. Yeah, so I've gotten her placed on a couple of celebs. And, um, so the branding and just building brands is like a major, major thing. And, and artists, I have Jaylen, she's a new artist out of Chicago. Mm -hmm. She's like my next Keisha Cole. Oh, excellent. Um, she's amazing, amazing. So she's my next thing I'm pushing to. So every day, every day we doing something big over here. Well, I definitely want to thank you for coming onto the show today and giving us this highlight. Fashion friends, I want you guys to definitely stay tuned for more because there is more to come. You're watching J Couture TV. How's music? today and I'm standing here next to the owners Mary and Jennifer now I want to tell you something so hot about this boutique why I'm in love with it why I appreciate it it's not only black owned but it's owned by two women two sisters not like sisters in the physical but I'm talking about two sisters you, you guys get one phone with this right so MBT welcome to the Emorje Couture show thank you <laughs> thank you for having me Boutique. Now, I want you guys to give me the grand tour, show me around, show me why you guys are so popular on Melrose, and we'll get right into it. Okay, let's okay. Do it. Here we have Hati Chai. This is some of their stuff here, which is a Hindu, a Buddhist inspired uh, jewelry. Then what? We have this is by a girl named, we just got these in yesterday, Jennifer. Amanda. No, that's not by Amanda. That's by the other artist. That oh, you sent. Zell Couture. Zell Couture. Zell Couture. Mm -hmm. okay. By Zell Couture, and those are her mirror earrings. These are by Amanda right here, which we're wearing today. Yeah. Um, they're all hand. Oh, so you have on the same young lady that did these earrings did as well. These, did these. And these oh, ones that really? I How much do they usually run? We they retail for twenty. 20 retail for twenty. And they're all hand done, one of a kind, no two. All different. Same. Excellent. Now, the best thing about this location, I mean, the best thing about your shop is that you guys support local talent. Tell me about that. Well, we're always looking for anybody who has a unique, different type of style. We, we showcase right now over four different jewelry designers. Everyone okay. has different style for us, what they bring to the table. And anyone that has something hot, you know, that's what we're about. We're having about hot vintage clothes, hot new new design that's why we call it modern vintage today because mm -hmm. it's, it's a vintage it's vintage clothing with a modern update up, up to date appeal or twist to it. so which leads into my next question how do you guys deal with marketing your store getting your store name out there getting it to the public how do you all do that um pretty much social networking is the big thing right now facebook twitter, twitter. yeah um my face or is that late we didn't do my space, but maybe we should. My space, but I also No, 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 no. We don't want the black panel, folks. Well, I take that back. Take, take that out. Don't no, forget. I didn't say that. I want the black I want all business. I don't care. Okay. I want all business. Um, we learn. We learn. We learn. We learn. Okay, but. We can scratch that out. But, um, yeah. Social networking. Social networking, word of mouth. The good thing is that we do have a lot of friends that know a lot of people. I come from the back, the acting background. I've done a little bit of hosting as well. 
So I know a lot of a lot of people, um, mm -hmm. and it's just word of mouth. Word Everyone of mouth. just looking out for each other. Any word parties at all? Yeah, of we're always doing mixers. I used to do a fashion show once a month to showcase the new designs, my new designs. Mm -hmm. I've held off this month only because we're doing the grand opening next month. In the next month, so look out for that. Hopefully, you guys can do something at the grand opening. Definitely. Yeah. So I've held off on doing a fashion show this month, but I usually do one once a month just to show marketing, show new, new um, hot pieces that are in. And, well, you know what? What I want to do is, and you know it fits me sober. I want to see your couture section. You know, Immorte right, Couture, go. how can I be Immorte Couture and not go to the couture section, right? Let's go. Let's go check it out. You're going to tell me that I'm chilling in MVT VIP. <laughs> because this is what it feels like. I mean, look at these. <laughs> do you yeah, feel you the couture sensation? Can I pull a piece out? Please. 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 You said that you love this piece. That is the Barbie dress. I the love Barbie it. It makes dress. me feel the Barbie. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put up to her. I'm sure you can fit it. I got this. <laughs> but look at this. Yeah. This, is, this is truly This fabulous. is Barbie all day. I love this piece. This actually didn't come from her collection, but. Let's I throw some it. price ranges out there. Now, how much is a dress like this would range for? About 185. $185. That's an excellent price for a, dre a, a dress, a couture gown, honey. Yeah. And you know, some people will probably sit like $700 or exactly. so. Exactly. You're getting excellent bargains when you come. Oh, I'm in your earring. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, you good. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we separated. I was going to be all right. <laughs> You're getting an excellent price for $180 for a dress that could just be $600 and Easy. up. Easy. Easy. Oh, M. Freaking G. <laughs> now tell me. So when you all get type of clientele, you all take stylists here too? Yes, a lot, take of, a lot of our clientele are stylists. They come here, it's kind of a one-stop shop for them. Mm -hmm. They can go to couture, they can go here, they can get accessories. And they, you know, they love it. We're actually coming up with a membership for our stylists mm -hmm. where they can, it's oh, different, it's different like levels that. of a membership where it's a gold, platinum, and premium um, memberships where it's monthly fees, but it's going to be oh, better. So many. You videos. girls are thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you got a plan. I like that. Oh, Kelsey. Hey. Always fashionable. <laughs> okay. Well, fashion friends, I'm going to be wrapping it up. This is the fashion segment of Immoral J. Couture TV. I want you guys to definitely support all of the artists, support the stylists, support the boutiques, and come on out and just shop and have a fabulous time. Get used to that personal clientele service. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, friends, I'm going to thank you guys so much. This has been super fabulous. Who knows where I'm going to go next? I might go to New York. I may go to London. I don't know where I'll go, but trust and believe, I'll be going somewhere. This is Imorj Couture TV, and I'm out. Hi, this is Patty Cheka, and you're watching Imorj Couture TV. I'm Mary, and I'm Jennifer Don, Girl, and you're watching Imorj Couture TV. You guys know my slogan and you know my quote. If it's hot, well, you know, hey, I'll say it's hot. But if it's a mess, you know the rest.